Hi, I'm Dr. Dana Harvey. I'm coming to you from Milton Chiropractic and Massage here north of Atlanta. We're going to be addressing the three different techniques we use here in the office to address plantar fasciitis. The first and foremost that we start out with is mobility for the foot. We look at whether or not the feet have mobility coming back in what we call dorsiflexion. Quite often when the arch is really taut, as well as the Achilles and the soleus muscle, which is the lower muscle in the calf, is really taut or tight, you have less range of motion of the foot being able to go back towards your head like this. So you can compare that both sides. We often find that in a more chronic situation that the patient has lost part of that dorsiflexion. Sometimes that can be due to an ankle being badly sprained in the past and you no longer have the mobility in the actual joint structure, or it can come from the soft tissue, which is that arch, the, the plantar fascia itself, the Achilles on the back, and the soleus in the lower portion of the leg. So that's what we would address first. And with addressing that, we can see whether or not that, that ankle is locked, and we can use an adjustment technique to unlock that ankle. Secondly, if we're going to be addressing the fact that maybe it's the Achilles and the plantar fascia tightness that's really lost that mobility, we then look at two different techniques we use here in the office, one being active release technique, the other being the Graston technique. Active release is taking pressure points on the musculature itself, looking for those adhesions, if you will, and moving the joint through an active range of motion. So I may use a passive range of motion, which creates a lengthening of that taut musculature, or I may have the patient, go ahead, Sarah, lift the toes through that range of motion herself, depending on where we're at in the course of treatment. A lot of times the patient isn't able to actively move through that range of motion in the beginning, so we do an assisted range of motion structure. So we look at going all the way up the inside of the leg to release a lot of those adhesions, okay? We, we address the Achilles and move that through those range of motion and release those adhesions, as well as the arch, often on the medial side and right near the foot pad where all the pressure is in the lower portion of the foot. Quite often too, we find that there can be some um, areas and joints in the lower foot uh, that get locked up and we can mobilize those as well, which helps to stretch out that plantar fascia. And last but not least, as I mentioned, we use Graston. Graston is a tool that we use to then look at those adhesions and strip those using this tool. It can sometimes be uncomfortable, but extremely effective to get the lengthening of those structures that have been so taut quite often for an extended period of time. So you, again, use some range of motion to then address those adhesions and move it through and use that tool to lengthen through that arch, the medial aspect of the leg, and depending on the foot positioning, we can then address the outside of the leg too. I sometimes have a lot of triathletes because of the way they pick up the pedal, that then the outside of the leg gets really taut because they've been modifying their pedal motion on the bike because it becomes so painful in the actual arch itself. So if that's the case, then all of these structures in the lower leg need to be addressed. And we address those soft tissue structures using active release as well as Graston. Thanks so much for being with us today. We look forward to helping anybody in the community that may need our services. Thank you so much.